Hey there, my fellow AI enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more AI insights. Today, we're tackling a topic that's as mysterious as it is exciting, Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. First, let's discuss Generative AI versus Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. So, what's the difference? Generative AI is basically what we are seeing all around us right now. It's a subset of AI that allows ever sophisticated new content generation. AGI, when realized, will be a completely different animal as it will take AI to human thinking level, maybe higher. We're also going to explore Google's Gemini project and the release of BARD, a language model that's causing quite a stir. These technologies could possibly be on the beginning path to AGI. What could be the first noticeable impact of AGI on humanity? Stick around for the knowledge and some expert opinions. Actors and actors are saying the new media landscape using AI is putting their careers at risk. Now they are seeking AI protections. Across industries, the main debate is about how to balance the pros and cons of AGI. As of August this year, about 4,000 people in the U.S. had lost their jobs. Imagine a future where machines can think, learn, and reason like humans. How close are we to creating the ultimate thinking machine? What are the potential pros and cons of AGI for humanity? Will robots become more proficient and intelligent workers and replace us? These are some of the issues that challenges the very fabric of our society. In this video, we're diving into the world of AGI and we will explore how close we are to achieving it. I'll also share insights from top AI experts and futurists, and yes, we'll try to make this as entertaining as possible. Let's start by defining what AGI is. AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, represents the highest level of artificial intelligence. In technical terms, it's an autonomous system capable of outperforming humans in nearly any intellectually demanding task. Unlike specialized AI systems, which excel at specific tasks, AGI is designed to generalize its learning, adapt to new situations, and demonstrate a wide range of cognitive abilities. AGI isn't just a recent concept, it's been the holy grail of AI since its inception. The term was first coined by John McCarthy in 1955. Over the decades, it has driven extensive research and development, leading us to the remarkable advancements we see today. What do the giants in the AI field have to say about the AGI timeline? Let's hear from experts like Elon Musk, David Hansen, Ray Kurzweil, and Sam Altman. Elon Musk had this to say, well, you know, we're all excited about AGI, but it's more like a delicious stew. It's cooking, but we're not sure when it'll be ready. I'd say we're looking at three to six years before AGI becomes a reality. Maybe in 30 years. Um, like, I do think we're, we're fairly close. You asked me about artificial general intelligence. I think we're perhaps only three years, maybe six years away from it. This, this, this decade. David Hansen, AGI is like the quest for Atlantis, we're not sure if we'll find it, but we're determined to keep searching. I'd say we're looking at 20 to 30 years. Ethics. And, um, and I think about, uh, 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 you know, the uh, spectrum of work in artificial general intelligence, the pursuit of questions of general theories of general intelligence. Ray Kurzweil, my predictions are like looking through a crystal ball, but I'd say AGI is on the horizon within six years. It's a fascinating journey. By our intelligence, many millions fold, and it's just very hard to imagine what that will be like. Sam Altman, it's always hard to think about what tools will enable, but I cannot begin to imagine what we'll be able to achieve with the help of AGI. A while. I don't expect that to be the crazy, I think the crazy switch, the crazy adjustment that people have had to go through has, has mostly happened. I think most people have gone from thinking that AGI was science fiction and very far off to something that is gonna happen. Now, 
let's dive into the nitty-gritty of AGI unlike narrow AI, can perform any intellectual task humans can do, even telling jokes. You know, creating machines that can think and learn like us. So, where does Google's Gemini project fit into all of this? It's like Google's secret recipe for AI pizza, they're trying to make it understand the world's ingredients better. And then there's BARD, the language model. It's as versatile as a Swiss army knife but with a bit more existential crisis. We're still trying to figure out if it can make a proper cup of tea, you know, it's versatile, but are we using all its talents effectively? Now, the big question, which company is probably the closest to achieving AGI and why? Well, it's like a high-stakes poker game, and a few big players are in the race. OpenA.i, led by Sam Altman, has been making significant strides with models like GPT-3 and GPT-4. They're committed to creating AGI that benefits all of humanity. OpenA.i has the research, resources, and a strong mission driving them forward. Google's Gemini project is like the energizer bunny of AGI research, it just keeps going and going. Google has some of the brightest minds in AI, and they're dedicated to creating machines that can understand the world better. This includes our next generation foundation model, Gemini, which is still in training. Gemini was created from the ground up to be multimodal, highly efficient at tool and API integrations, and built to enable future innovations like memory and planning. DeepMind, a subsidiary of Alphabet, is also a strong contender. They've made remarkable progress in areas like reinforcement learning. Their AlphaGo project was a watershed moment, and they continue to push the boundaries of AI. Don't count Facebook out. They're investing heavily in AI research, and with their vast user data, they have a unique advantage. Plus, they're exploring projects like chatbots and virtual assistants that bring us closer to AGI. So, when it comes to the first noticeable impact of AGI on humanity, it's a bit like waiting for the punchline of a joke, you're curious to see if it's a belly laugh or a flop. It could revolutionize industries, improve healthcare, and even solve global challenges. But, as with any groundbreaking technology, there are potential downsides, from job displacement to ethical concerns. As we wrap up, what are your thoughts? I encourage you to join the conversation. What's your take on the AGI timeline as proposed by these experts and the race to achieve it? Do you think AGI will be beneficial, or in a worst case scenario threaten our very existence? Share your thoughts in the comments, and if you found this video informative and maybe even chuckled once or twice, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more content on the AI revolution. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay curious, and keep watching.